Hello everyone and welcome back. Getting towards the end of January here. It's a balmy four degrees below zero Fahrenheit. My dad came up this morning to start using the workshop. He has a muzzle loader, that he, a kit that he's gonna be putting together. Some spe it, it was expensive. He's been waiting for it for a month and a half to, to get here. It's still not at his place yet. It's gonna be a couple more weeks, but he's gonna build a case for it. So he came up to get started on that. This is the first time we've seen the sun in, I believe, 19 days. There was a peak of it for like five minutes a few days ago. Otherwise, it's been cloudy and snow, almost every day a little bit of snow lately. Tonight now, there is another clipper system coming in that's supposed to dump like two inches. And then it's going to get really cold. This is nothing here. We're going to get down, I mean, not no 30 below zero, but in the 20 below zero area. Thank you. 
stuff. It's a very professional one. It's the only experience on that one, so it's smooth, but it was three quarter, 16 feet, and it's a real pretty green. Is it? It has only eight bucks. And I could put that on the bottom edge here, you know. Mm -hmm. See, if it didn't. Yeah. No, how much a tractor shall fly? Take out all the rope you want. Mm -hmm. See, they have a big cutter there. You pull out the chain or the rope you want. You cut what you want, and that's it. Oh, really? They got that rope, but it's pure black. Oh, really? And I'm not so sure how that looked like, you know. Right, that might be too dark. It might be all yeah, you see. I would rather have green, because also, along this edge here, two shovels. Must have flew out of somebody's truck yeah, or something. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, I thought. You know, he's good on the wherever he's going. Right, he's going to get there and he's not going to do anything. I thought that was... Well, I'll stop it, Andy. No. I thought I needed to sharpen this. I just sharpened it yesterday, but when you cut and there's snow on there, it doesn't cut as good. It must take the oil off. Oh, well, that might be. You know, because it's not dull at all. I mean, I cut my finger with it when doing this yesterday, yeah. you know, so it's plenty of if you're going to cut it today, I got my mines in my truck and stays in there. Oh, does it? Yeah, I know. I just switched to my chiropractor from 2 o'clock to 1 o'clock so I can oh, get in there earlier. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. That nice dry birch surface. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I really like burning the birch in the boiler if it wouldn't um, rot so fast. When we go up ice fishing to that place, when you catch the fish, you can bring them back and you just drop them off and they clean them and package them. And they have a packaging license so you don't have to leave any fin on them or anything. Is that right? Or, yeah, and that's free. Or they'll clean them and then their cooks will cook them for you. Is that, is that yeah, for not, no charge, yeah. You can do it either yeah. way. That'll be weird. Well, where did that, I don't know if you remember, where we had you, all the kids and moths, someplace we went to fish for farm. You could, you did a pond, you could catch them. You had everyone caught them. You did, then you did bring them in and they for our for our mouth for, for you, right? Really? Huh. Yeah, that'll be something different that, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, I was just, <coughs> you know, my mom said that every year I come, and uh, you know, he says, I want to get one that's real simple, it's real easy, chunk chunk, and it's over. Yeah, I always buy the cheapest one I could find. All it has to do is play the DVD. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's all, all I care about. Yep, yep. If you're worried about it, buy two of them that are super cheap and take the TV and wire them both and just use the top one when that one doesn't work. That's what I have at the... Tent. I've got two different ones there. Oh. Once in a while, one of them will act up, and I'll just plug the other one in, which yeah, is right. yeah. the <laughs> doors broke off of it and everything, but it works. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know how they ever very seldom watch it. It's uh, a deer hunting because you're in so early. Right, and right. But then I, you want know, to just get everything organized and eat. Yeah. But I didn't. Then he's, he said, oh, all those lights are so hard on his little eyes. Then well, I guess one Monday morning. For so your CT thing? No, for the chiropractor. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was having so much trouble with my neck, I went in there. He still doesn't have that really under control yet, but then yeah, he See, with my mind, he, he, he has arthritis. And I said, hey, hey, I don't care if it's arthritis. I said, yeah, the only place that hurts me when when I drive the line. He said, I got to turn my own body, but no, no, this way. But otherwise, I don't want to go that far. And uh, I said, I don't care. 
But I said, as long as I know that God is telling me what it is. Right, right. And I said, then I said, well, you, then you will laugh and said, you, you shouldn't. It doesn't have any construction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that, and then he thinks that's so funny. <laughs> and then I said, well, that's fine, so I believe me. Right. All right, well, if you're still here when I get back, I'll come off. I'll, 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 I'll won't be back. And after I'm done here, then I'll come back. Because I sent that my money in. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. My dad was out here. He left about 2 o'clock. I had to leave and go to the chiropractor and do a couple other things. And, and came back just before he left. And uh, what he's doing is these, you know, he's got that kit coming for a muzzle loader, a flintlock. And it's one of the ones where the, the butt is down farther and then it goes across. And this is going to be the bottom of a gun case. He's going to make a gun case that's actually shaped like that. But he doesn't have the exact size of the gun. It's pretty close. And when we were in here, he said that it'll be sent in two weeks. And then I suppose he'll be at his place because I mean, he's not going to put that together up here. This will be like the third one that he's built, I think. And um, then once he gets that done, then he can come up here and finish this. And he said he's going to put this on the bottom. And then I think he'll have the uh, aromatic cedar or the red cedar on the sides. And then he's going to do some buckskin or I don't know if he's going to put some of the uh, diamond willow along the edges. I'm not sure, but I kind of think you needed to get out of the house and come up to the workshop for a while. He fired up the stove, the wood stove. He said it was plenty warm in here. It just didn't smell the same. <laughs> so it is nice, though, when you get that wood stove going. Because it does keep it warm, but it's warmer over on that side where the air handler is. So it'll be a little cooler over here. And then you just start that stove and you don't have to put much in it. And it just kind of evens out all the heat and makes it real nice. That one clamp that he put on here is not doing its job. I just took it off. Nice bowl, let's see.
That will keep it from cupping. He had all that, a bunch of stuff on there for weight, but it wasn't doing the job. It actually started separating through here. So putting these kind of uh, clamps on there, they're flatter and they don't move like this, like the other ones do, so they can't really pop off. Well, I know this one is pretty short, but with him not going to be coming up here for at least two weeks, it sounds like, I just kind of want to get this, the Flintlock gun case series started, and just like with all the other projects with my dad, we'll just follow along and see where it ends up. It's always interesting. I will see you guys on the next video.